Hmm. Chick stationery. Is that even a thing you might be asking yourself? And I come with the answer because yes, chick stationery is very much a thing. And I'm gonna try and introduce you today to one of my favorite Czech stationery brands. And actually it is the one that is the most iconic, the most known and for everyone who ever took any level of art class in Czech Republic, very close to our heart brand named Koinor, named after the amazing Indian diamond. Uh, this is a company that was started in very very start of 19th century in Austria actually, but back then well we were the whole Austro-Hungarian Empire so it was basically the same thing. Uh, 50 years later in 1848 uh, the sons of the guy who started Kohinoor moved the production into the town of Budweiser, which is, by the way, the same place where the Budweiser beer comes from. You know, the Czech one, the good one, not the American one. Nah, for forget about that one. Don't don't drink it. Uh, I'm not gonna hold off on my favorite ever thing made by Kohinoor, which is this. And this, I have, I now own it in three sizes, the stackable watercolors. Ooh, I'm getting naked here. No, don't worry, I'm wearing stuff under this. Anyway, yeah. So, this is quite small. So here you have four levels, six levels, and eight levels. And the eight one is really new now, and I saw it on the internet, and that was the thing that I came to Prague for. Uh, it wasn't a single thing, but... I was really excited to go to Prague because uh, at this point it's probably the only place where you can get the 8 level 1. You can get these ones on Amazon, I think, but in Prague they're gonna be a lot cheaper. Basically, in general, everything I'm gonna show you, you can probably get in the UK and around Europe, but in Western Europe it's gonna cost probably like 50% extra in price. These are cakes, so you can't really replace them. But on the other hand, like they are really cheap. So like this one, I'm pretty sure this cost like two quid or something. So in Britain, that's the sort of price that would make you think these are gonna be crap, but they're not. Anyway, so I'm gonna show you what the colors are in this like small set, which is, so you, here you have like browns and yellows. Here you have uh, kind of orangey reds and reds and brown and black. There's a dark brown and all sorts of green and blues. But let's have a look at the big one, the double one. I haven't actually looked at it properly yet, so I'm really excited. Also, if you noticed, these in the middle bit, you can actually put some water in there if you need. It's not a, a big reservoir for water, but um, there's some. So. You know, if, if you're traveling with these, that might come in handy. So here, we have a lot of yellows and beiges and a kind of a poppy orange here. I think this one is the same as with the other one. Blues and blacks. So here we have four greens and two browns. Ooh, this one is kind of funky. So there's like two, this one is kind of like magenta and this one is more pink. And then we have like a peach one, Ooh, which is, I guess it's supposed to be like a skin color, but um, we all know that when you use that for a skin color, things things get kind of weird. Uh, yeah, four purples. This one this one looks a lot more blue on the camera than it is in the real life. Um, in real life, this one actually looks more like lavender. On my LCD, it looks like straight up blue, and it doesn't. So, whoops. Here you have some warm. Ooh, I'm gonna compare. So, so as you can see. Like you get these and you get these. So there's there's four browns. They just kind of sit with different other colors. Um, ooh, there's also metallic ones, and I think that's very new to me in these. So like here on top, there this is a silver, and I guess this is supposed to be gold. The the amount of like glitter in it or like the sort of pearlescence in the gold is less than in the silver, but I feel like they're supposed to be those two and then you have like a bronze which looks kind of gold you you can tell that it's metallic
another thing I got and funnily enough I noticed they have these based on a French illustrator's Instagram. She just recently started like a side Instagram where she just takes like artsy pictures of her stationery collection, which is very inspiring to me. I might have to do that too. Uh, yeah. Anywho. Uh, so again, these are very sort of Wes Anderson-y. I like the colors. So you have like this kind of bluish green, this pink and this like orangey red. I never noticed that they made these before. I only knew about like their really kind of boring erasers, but they also have these. I really like these. Now these to me, these are called the, uh, the versatile, or you know, in Czech they're versatile um, pencils, and I can show you them in three different sizes. So this one is like a pocket version, and it's also kind of um, sort of really warm orangey red. Oh, I, I just live for, for this color. It's really nice and it's it's short. It's kind of yeah As I said, it's like a pocket one. You can probably put it in like a your a You know the suit Square pocket thing uh, Yeah, moving on. This is a larger version of the same The leads that these came with are quite soft so I keep getting Sort of lead marks on my hands so i'm sorry if i'm going to be disgusting yes so this one is kind of mustard yellow it looks a bit more yellow on my lcd again than it is in real life but um with all of these they tend to come in like three different colors and they're all very pretty but this was my favorite because mustard yellow is one of my favorite colors now this one is simon's it's the the manliest the hugest one and i'm out of focus yes uh, this one is, I feel, the most meant to be used by artists. So this and this one, as you can see, is quite kind of sturdy looking and big. And um, the thing about all of these is that um, the sharpener is in, in the back. So it's not going to be visible, but basically you undo this and in there is like a little kind of set of like four little cutty angly thingies and you can use those to sharpen your pencil but and that was a definitely a new discovery for me in Prague you can also get an actual like a like a small sharpener that is specifically made for these I'm pretty sure I'm not sure if they make it for this but they definitely sell small tiny little sharpeners for these guys um, it's so small that you would probably lose it straight away but just so you know you don't have to actually use the thingy that's in the back all of these have that all of these if you unscrew it have that sharpener last two things i got that uh, really caught my eye first of them is just a pretty regular set of colored pencils i don't expect these to be like an artist grade colored pencils but i really like them i like how uh, simple the design is come on i guess yeah, I find these really cute. I don't know, I just loved looking at them, so I had to have them. And again, these were like two quid, so um, I guess that they would look really good uh, on some sort of stationary photo shoot. Mm -hmm. uh, and the last thing I got is this set, which um, it's called... It is called Highlighter Pencils, and that's what they are. It's some... Um, they're kind of fluorescent -y ish and kind of like in design they remind me of the japanese um tombow pencils what's the name yeah uh the irajiten pencils
thank you for watching this video i hope that i got you excited for czech stationery because obviously i'm czech and i just want people to just realize that czech republic is full of interesting stuff not just beer and women but it's also full of those things so like i'm not mad at you if that's the only idea you have that's okay hopefully with time if you watch my videos you're gonna get a better more well-rounded idea what uh, my home country is like anyway i'm planning to at some point i'm not sure when go back to prague and maybe make a video about stationery shops there let me know in the comments down below if that's something that would be fun for you to watch i'd really like to do that there's a lot of cool indie paper shops now and i would love to visit them i would probably have to ask beforehand because czech people are not super open to you just coming into their store and shooting stuff with a nice camera so yeah i would need to make plans and get over my uh lack of social abilities okay guys i will see you soon